Hi, this is Lee Razo with Neo4j. In this video, we're going to create a digital twin of the London Public Transport Network on Google Cloud using BigQuery, Cloud Dataflow, and a Neo4j Aura Graph database instance. So before we get started, let me go over a few things that I set up in advance. Uh, first of all, I deployed an instance of Neo4j Aura from the Google Cloud Marketplace. There's a link in the description uh, to a tutorial video on how to do that. Um, so this is up and running and it's an empty database. There's nothing in it. This is where the data is gonna land after we run Dataflow. The second thing I did was I created a couple of tables in BigQuery. Um, one of them contains data on uh, all of the uh, stations in the London Transport Network. You see here's the schema. If I do a quick uh, query, you can see a sample of the data that's in that table. So let's just run that. And uh, you see here every for every row, there's a station with a unique ID, a name, and coordinates on where it's located, um, the zone that it's in, and the postcode. And the other table that I created is called London Tube Lines. Um, here you see the schema. It's basically a, a listing of connections between stations by the line uh, name. So let's just take a quick sample of that data so we can see what we're working with. Uh, put a little star there and hit run. And then uh, here we see, for instance, um, station Upminster's connected to station Ockenden uh, via the C2C tube line. And this table contains uh, just a long listing of different connections like that. So we're going to use these two tables for our graph. Obviously, there's a lot more data we could include, but we're going to keep it simple for this demo. And the third thing I did was I uploaded uh, some JSON templates to a Google Cloud storage bucket. Uh, the first template that we need is called uh, is the job spec template. Um, and we can take a look at it here. It's in JSON format, and it defines uh, some of the parameters for uh, for the database. Uh, as we um, so, for instance, reset DB will clear the database before it uh, populates it with new data. Um, there's a ton of options that are all uh, documented in the link in the description to our uh, BigQuery um, Dataflow template documentation. Here we define some data sources. So I've defined two: one for each of the tables that I'm using. Um, the first one is of type BigQuery. There's other types. You can also um, uh, use uh, CSV files uh, as a source. We're going to do BigQuery. I gave it a name. I'm calling this uh, data source stations. And this is the query that is used to get the data. So in fact, if we um, just run that in BigQuery, uh, if I go like this, uh, we should actually see the data that we're going to include run so this is going to be what we uh what we query for our data source um the next part are the targets so these are uh where we define the nodes i'm only going to define one type for this demo uh that represent stations so the source is going to be this uh, station source um I'm going to give it the label station, um, and there's uh, options on you know how to add it to the graph, et cetera. All of those are also available in the documentation. Um, we can define a few properties like station ID, station name, zone, postcode, et cetera, and latitude, longitude, which we'll use a bit later. And then down here, we define the relationships, which we call here edge. Um, in this demo, I'm just going to uh, connect the nodes by tube lines. And this is a very simple example. Um, I define a relationship called two, uh, tube lines. Um, I give it the type connected to. Uh, but for this demo, I'm actually going to use a more advanced feature. And I'm going to use this template where I can use a uh, custom query to define my template. So this is a really nice advanced feature that we support in our Dataflow templates. And once again, you'll find more details in the uh, documentation. But what this will do is when it creates a, a relationship, a connection between stations, it will give it the name of the transit line that it represents using this query. So um, again, more on that separately. The other template that you need to upload is contains the, um, the uh, credentials for the Aura instance, um, in this case in JSON format in this, uh, in this form. Um, 
I'll talk a little bit more about security later. There's a couple of different ways to securely uh, transfer those uh, credentials to your um, Aura instance. Uh, for this demo, I'm doing this very uh, in a very simple manner, but I'll, I'll, I'll touch on that in a little bit during the demo. Um, and once again, everything you need to reproduce this demo is available in our GitHub repo, um, which you can see here. There's a link also in the description. Uh, including the data sets that I'm using for this demo. Um, here you'll find the CSV files that I used to create the uh, data flow, or sorry, the BigQuery tables. Um, and we'll uh, come back on that a bit later. So we're ready now to configure and kick off our data flow job. Um, so I go here to the data flow console. Let's um, go into the jobs menu here. Um, let me filter out all these old jobs here. Um, and click here at the top, create job from template. And here we'll give our job some kind of a name. Let's call this London yeah, Transport Demo, the name I've used before. We can pick any region we want. One thing to keep in mind, there are some um, nuances to the way uh, Google manages permissions for BigQuery. So be sure that whatever region you pick has access to the uh, BigQuery table that you want to use as a source. Uh, if you want to be sure, you can try running the query directly in uh, the BigQuery console. And if it works, then it should work here as well. So um, just a little note about regions. Down here in data flow template, um, we click that. And in the filter, we type Neo4j. And we will get this uh, template here, uh, Google Cloud to Neo4j. We select that one. And once we've selected it, uh, some parameters will appear below. So uh, required parameter is, of course, the uh, job spec that I showed earlier. Um, if you have the, uh, the, the path, you can paste it in here, or you can also just browse here um, and go straight to uh, the bucket. This is the one that I used. And as I mentioned, I'm going to use the custom query template that I mentioned earlier, and we put that in there. Now here below, and this is a little bit confusing, so this is something just to call out, and this will probably be updated later. Even though it says optional here, it is required to either uh, provide a path to the credentials file here, or we also support the Google Secret Manager, so you can also uh, alternately put a secret ID uh, here instead, and that is for a higher security uh, uh, configuration if you want to uh, if you don't want to be uh, sharing your uh, passwords, uh, uh, plain text, you can use the Google uh, Secret Manager. For this demo, I'm going to just uh, keep it simple, and I'm going to use the uh, the uh, template file that I showed earlier. Um, of course, that can also be secured with uh, regular permissions. Um, so that's my Aura credentials. I put that in there, and we're ready to go. There's a lot of other options here, which are, again are all described in the documentation. But for now, I'm just going to run a very simple job. And click run and the job here is getting queued and set up so this will take a few minutes and when it's done we'll see that the job status is succeeded and all of the uh, different steps uh, of the of the job will be turned green okay our data flow job is now complete we can see here uh, on the right the job status shows as succeeded all of the uh, stages are in green so let's examine the results. Let's go to the database and take a look at what we have there now. So if we come here to the browser window and we open it up, we see we have now 653 station nodes and just under a, about 2,000 relationships connecting the stations, each named after the transport line that they represent. If we click here, we can get a little sampling of the graph and see what we have. Let's zoom in a little bit. We can see here a few uh, different stations like Paddington and the different lines that it's connected to. If we click here on the node for Paddington, we can see the properties that we set. Um, we see a latitude and longitude, which I'll come back to shortly. The name of the station, the postcode, the unique ID and a zone number. Um, so similarly with the relationships, we didn't really set any properties, but if we had, we'd see them here as well. So if we want to take a, a wider look, we can go and look at the same graph in Bloom. So if we come back here and click on Explore and enter the password here, um, we can go and take a look in Bloom. So let's select all stations that are connected to other stations, which in this case is effectively the entire graph. And we click Play, and we get now uh, all of the nodes and the relationships. Um, 
Uh, now there's a nice little feature in Bloom. Uh, as you recall, we uh, each station, if we click here, we'll see some properties of one of the stations. We have latitude and longitude coordinates, which means we can also view this uh, in coordinate layout. So if I click this, now the nodes, all the different station nodes are laid out according to their um, position on the map. So if you're familiar with the London Transport Network, this shape is probably very familiar to you. Uh, let's zoom in and we now can see the stations again here, Bond Street, there's Paddington again. If we pull it over here, we can see, it's a little hard to see, but we can see now all the different stations, Hammersmith, Bakerloo, uh, that, as they're represented there. We double click here, we can see the, um, all the different properties. We can see the neighbors, the stations that it's connected to, and the different lines. There are, of course, many more things you can do with BigQuery and Dataflow in combination with Neo4j, but hopefully this video has served as a helpful starting point. All the links mentioned in this video are in the description below. Thanks very much for watching and see you soon.